So this is update number three on the stuff that's going on in Ecuador right now. I've got some notes here. I want to start off by saying I got a comment from somebody that's made some comment about this gold chain. Okay. I know the guy was trying to be funny, but I and it, and it kind of was. You can see it in the comment section. But anyway, I want to tell you about this gold chain. First place. This right here is a little magnet. This is a magnet that goes on the back of my DJI microphone so I can stick it to my shirt, okay? This is a magnet, okay? This is this gold chain. Have you ever seen a magnet stick to gold? <laughs> so, does that answer the question? It is not a gold chain. Somebody gave this to me and suggested the idea that I use it to hang the microphone on. And it works pretty good. I am hope I'm recording. And I am. Okay. So it's used to hang the microphone. I'll have to attach it to my shirt. Okay. I wish I could find a leather, like a lanyard or something like that to, to hang it on. But I will one of these days. So anyway, I got a comment I want to share with you. So it's a good comment. I, I say, I, I got to say the response from the last couple of days from everybody on these updates has been phenomenal or four or five thousand comments you know um which is really impressive to me it lets me know that everybody's paying attention and everybody's concerned about what's going on here so this guy sums it all up right here i just really i'm not going to share his name but you can see it in the comment section ecuador is still a better place than a weekend in chicago nothing different here as is the war on drugs in the USA. Ask yourself, what are the numbers of mass shootings in Ecuador versus mass shootings in the USA? There will always be danger anywhere in the world. Don't change your travel plans, enjoy your life. Okay, well that's, I, I second that folks. I mean, yeah, the crime stacks are, is, are horrendous here. But I'm telling you, you gotta remember, th this, here in Ecuador, we don't have the crimes like you have in the U.S. It's, you can't even compare. They don't even come close. Some of the horrendous shit that goes on in the states amongst all the homeless people and all the, the gangs that are running around on the streets, the lawlessness in the big cities like Chicago, and then not to mention the mass shootings where people are going out and just, just going out to shoot people for the sport of it. That doesn't happen here. That's not happening here right now. So here's some statistics for you that I got since yesterday. As of today, 329 suspected terrorist gang members have been detained and five have been killed. 28 prisoners who escaped from different prisons in the country have been recaptured. 41 people who were kidnapped have been rescued. 200 stolen cars have been recovered. 22 criminal organizations, gangs, are now considered terrorists and are military targets. Operations will focus on Guayas, Montebi, which is where we are right here, Esmeraldas, which is north of here, Los Rios, uh, I don't know where Los Rios is, Santo Domingo, which is east of here. They said Santo Domingo de las Satilius, I can't pronounce that, and El Oro, the most critical provinces due to insecurity, okay? And the guy said, the, the new government seems to be pretty serious, impressive. And I'm going to put the source for that. I have the source for that information, and I'm going to put it in the description below. There were a few bombings at some of the UPCs. The UPCs here are the police stations. But nobody's been killed in any of them. They've been more like nuisance bombings, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's really, it hasn't been as bad as you, you would think it was, you know, to hear the way everybody talks. It, it really hasn't been that bad. Of course, we're only in day three of this. Let's see what happens, you know. Uh, some more stuff that I have notes on here. There is a Facebook group here. I encourage you, especially those of you that are in North America, 
that are considering coming here or you've already got it in your plans to be here, join this Facebook page. It's called Ecuador Emergency. Okay? It's a great group. they got about 4,000 members. Uh, Nicholas and Jack, I'm not going to give their last names, um, are just doing a bang-up job managing this group. Uh, this is not, and I repeat, it is not a discussion debate group. Okay? So don't join it thinking that you're going to get to go in there and chime in with your uh, opinion based on your Facebook and YouTube education, okay? Uh, so and when you get on this group, you get to kind of keep your thoughts to yourself and just read the information that's provided. One thing I like about this group, and I thank you, Nicholas and Jack, for doing this, is that you quote your sources on everything that you post. You quote your sources, and that's what we need to see, okay? Furthermore, American Airline flights from Miami to GYE, MIA to GYE, that's Miami to Waikil, have been canceled, okay? I think they had one flight a day, but I'm not sure. It's a late night flight that usually arrives here at 9.30 p.m. It's for right now, that flight's been canceled, okay? Interprovincial bus is not running at night, okay? They're running during the day, so those of you that are here and that don't know it, uh, if you need to go, you know, uh, interprovincial, you know, from one city to another, the buses are running, but they're not going to be running at night, okay? And then, of course, the U.S. consulates in Waikil have been closed for now. And for people that had appointments to go in and get your passports or whatever, um, you they, they will reschedule. They're sending out emails to to reschedule those appointments, okay? So that's pretty much about what's going on. Nothing here in Monta. I've not heard of anything major happening here in Monta. It's been really quiet. I'm doing okay. I've got plenty of food to eat. I've got plenty of beer and wine, and I've got plenty to do to keep myself busy. I work on stuff, self-development stuff that I'm working on that you wouldn't be interested in. I wish I could find somebody here in Monta that's interested in the stuff that I'm interested in uh, that we could collaborate on. And that's, you know, that's web development, uh, programming, scripting, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm taking a class on ethical hacking so that I can learn to be an ethical hacker. I've already been one, but I'm just kind of developing and enhancing my skills. But anyway, it's not important. Uh, I, I want to do, I do, there's been a couple comments that showed up. I want to just mention this. A lot of people uh, think that I, they're under the impression that I don't like Ecuador and that I've given up on Ecuador and they, they think I have a bad attitude about Ecuador. And I'm telling you folks, there's nothing further from the truth. Okay? My problem with living in Ecuador is the fact that I live in a city that's extremely noisy and that's my problem that is my problem okay i'm not saying it's going to be your problem i know lots of expats that live here that don't even notice it but i notice it and it's an annoyance for me because i have extremely sensitive hearing i can hear the boats when they're going by out in the ocean out there the fishing boats especially the big ones you know i can hear their motors running so I hear everything. Don't get the wrong impression. You may love Monta. You may come here. It's a beach city. It's a port town. It's a good destination to come and be at because there's health care. <clears throat> Excuse me. Health care. There's resources here for just about everything you need. You have countless beaches all up and down the coastline that you can go to from here that you'll love. Okay? And But for me, it's just the noise. Okay? There are areas here where Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, I know people that have condos in those areas that are selling their places because they just can't hack the noise. And that's just the way of life here, okay? That's just the way it is. You have to learn to deal with it. And it's really, I mean, I deal with it, okay? I have earplugs. I have a music cozy I put on. And for the most part, I'm able to deal with it, okay? But I will always bitch about noise because I don't like noise okay so enough on that 
If any of you have any questions that you want to ask me, my email address is in the description, okay? Just feel free to drop me an email and I will get to you as quickly as I can. Okay, that's it for today. That's update number three. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.